Now we are ready to rotate this guy and connect all the pieces together. And that's what we're going to do now. But uh, what I see here is an extra phase that we don't need and that would cause some uh, problems uh, if we don't delete that. So delete that if you have an extra phase there, like I do. Okay, select the object and then go to Edit, go to Duplicate Special. Uh, let's open the options for that. Mm. Just um, yeah, m make the geometry type to uh, copy, uh, group under parent, it doesn't matter either. Um, and then say, okay, rotate every copy 60 degrees in X, and we want, all together, we want to have five copies. Hit apply, and there you go. That's, that's exactly what we want. So, okay, right now, select all of those pieces, combine those together, and then go to vertex, select all those vertices, and say, merge. Okay, select uh, the object. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so now we want to take care about that inner part of that rim. As you can see here, or if you go to the website again, um, you can see that, you know, on the inside of that rim there's coming something up and the spokes are connected to that piece. Okay, so let's try to take care about that. First of all, I'm gonna make um, an edge loop here. I'm select one of those edges here. Oh. Okay, and then uh, control, right click, edge ring to edge ring and split again. So now I'm gonna select um, those faces here, uh, the face ring, and then say, okay, extrude. Let's extrude those in X. Okay, so with that done, let me fix this size here. I think that's a little bit too wide. Uh, all right, so let's select, let's select that face ring here and move that and X as well. Uh, something like something like this. We can tweak that later on, but yeah, sometimes you, know, you can get picky. But um, all right, so let's um, take care about that inner part. First of all, I want to insert an edge loop right here somewhere. Okay, that's, that's looking good. And then again, select um, the face loop here in the middle, and let's let's extrude that out. Okay, where is that? Okay, so now, so I hit um, plus on my keyboard to make that uh, manipulator a little bit larger. Um, okay, let's pull it up until yeah let me check that in shaded mode it's looking good it's not too high just a little bit more okay that's that's looking good so now um Take uh, select that edge ring or edge loop here. Um, double just double click on that, uh, and then bring bring that in just a little bit. Yeah, just a tiny bit more. Okay, looks good to me. So with that done. Um, let me pause the video again, um, and uh, in the next uh, lesson, I'm going to show you how to connect um, uh, this uh, the spokes to to that inner part of that rim. Okay.